E. Cicero was disgusted by the fact that a citizen could. O tempora o mores. O the times, o the customs. There are more translations, for example, oh what times, oh what customs, or shame on this age and on its lost principles. The origin of the phrase. The phrase was used by the orator Cicero in four different speeches. The most famous use in his first oration against Catiline, 63 BC. What had happened? Catiline had been conspiring to overthrow the Roman government and assassinate the consul Cicero. Cicero was disgusted by the fact that, despite all evidence, Catiline had not yet been executed. He even came into the Senate. Here we are in the Roman Senate. We see Cicero on the left-hand side speaking to the senators and Catiline on the right-hand side sitting all alone. This famous picture has the title Cicero denouncing Catiline. The painter is Caesar Macari, 1888. About Catiline. Catiline was a Roman senator from an aristocratic family of consular heritage, but declining in both social and financial fortunes. Catiline had been an unsuccessful candidate in the consular elections of the previous year, 64 BC. The Catilinarian Conspiracy It was a plot devised by Catiline to overthrow the Roman Republic and assassinate the consul Cicero himself. His goal was to attempt dictatorship. But he didn't succeed. Here we see Crassus reading the anonymous letter informing him of the conspiracy. And on the right hand side we see Cicero speaking to the others. This famous painting has the title The Discovery of the Catilinarian Conspiracy. The creator is Jean-François Janinet, 1792. Catilinarian Conspiracy Failure The Catilinarian Conspiracy failed. Cicero forced Catiline to flee from Rome. The Roman Senate conferred the title Pater Patriae, Father of the Fatherland, on Cicero. It was a great honor. About language and grammar. We start with tempus temporis, in English time or moment, a neuter noun of the third declension. About moris. Mors moris masculine, in English custom habit, it's a noun of the third declension. Tempora and mores are both accusative of exclamation. Now let's decline. We start with mos mores, a regular noun of the third declension. Singular first. Nominative mos. Genitive mores. Dative mori. Accusative morem. And ablative more. Plural. Nominative mores, genitive morum, dative moribus, accusative mores, and ablative moribus. And the accusative plural form is used in our phrase. Let's continue with tempus temporis, neuter. There is a special neuter rule to be obeyed. The neuter rule for Latin nouns. The nominative and the accusative forms are always alike and the plural always ends in A. 
so we can decline tempos. First the singular forms, nominative tempus, genitive temporis, dative tempori, accusative tempus again, and ablative tempore. The plural forms, nominative tempora, genitive temporum, dative temporibus, accusative again tempora, and temporibus is the ablative plural form. And it's again the accusative plural form used in our phrase. If you want to learn more about Latin declensions, this is the link to the playlist. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon to get new video updates.